Alright, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. Okay? Listen. Make it happen, Shane. Make it happen. Go, go deliver my man Stefan Diggs from that hellhole in Buffalo. He obviously don't want to be there. Now, he dropped hints on y'all after that horrible loss to that overrated Joe Burrow. You know, listen, if I'm Diggs, I'd feel offended too. If I'm Diggs, I'd be like, yo, we just lost to the most overrated quarterback in the league. Uh, Josh Allen was supposed to be great, and he can't beat that overrated bum Joe Burrow. I don't want to be here no more. If we can't beat Joe Burrow, how are we going to beat Mahomes? If we can't beat those bozos, how are we going to beat Hurts? He's not going to win. He not. He he understands that he's not going to win in Buffalo. He made that abundantly clear after that playoff loss. And he didn't drop hints in the offseason that he don't want to be in Buffalo. He misses Brian Dable. Brian Dable was his favorite coach. You know, there's, there's certain bonds that are not meant to be broken. And, and Stephon Diggs and Brian Dable is one of them. So I come to the Fisk unit. Giants fans, I come to y'all with a proposal, an offer you can't refuse to quote the great Marlon Brando, and it's called my headache for your headache, all right, the Giants have a Saquon problem, and the Bills have a Diggs problem, neither of them showing up to camp right now. I right, neither of them want to, you know, they, they, they're pouting right now. Neither of them showing up. The only difference is one is under contract in Diggs, and the other one is Saquon he is basically about to play under the tag. Now, Buffalo, you play in the snow. It gets cold. The, the, you know, inclement weather. You really don't need to be throwing the ball that much when you play outside in Buffalo. You really, you, you just really don't. Which is why it's mind-boggling that the new stadium at Buffalo is still going to be outside. You would think that you have a, a team that's built to throw the ball all game. You would think you'd want a dome like in Minnesota, but no, it's none of my business. So, you don't need a top five running back. You need a Saquon Barkley. You, you still got Gabe Davis. Uh, I forgot the name of the tight end they drafted. So, then they got two stud tight ends with Dawson Knox and... Uh, Oh, my gosh, I cannot believe I forgot the name of the tight end they drafted. But they can run a lot of 12 personnel. 12 personnel only works when you got a monster running back. So it actually makes more sense for y'all to have a Saquon Barkley. Take that money you pay in digs post June 1st. We do the trade. You take care of the Saquon contract because we know you called for Saquon. We know the Bills inquired about Saquon Barkley till they found out that Bozo wanted $17 million. Once they found out he wanted $17 million, they hung up the phone. A, a couple teams, once they found out Saquon was asking for $17 million, hung up the phone on the Giants. But dang, the point. The point is, you know you want him. You do. Saquon is like, he's like that bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's that girl who was like, she know you want her. So she played games with you a little bit because she know you want her. She know you want her. Just go ahead and give in. All right, Buffalo, just, just go ahead and give in. And give the Giants Stephon Diggs. The Giants don't need Saquon. We don't need him. He's not important. In this offense that we're running, he's not important. We went the whole last half of the season post the Texans game with Saquon barely getting 15 carries a game, and we were just fine. He not important to the offense. Let's call it what it is. We got Darren Waller. We got Hyatt out there. We got Slayton out there. We got Paris Campbell. We got all these burners out there, but none of them are number one receiver. You throw Stephon Diggs into the equation, and the Giants become exactly what Kafka and Dable want them to be, a high-flying 30 points per game track team that can get you at any time, anywhere. Dable and Shane wanted an offense with speed, explosiveness, that could score from anywhere on the field. That's what we want to do. 
You add Diggs to that equation, it's a wrap. Because you can't double Waller. You can't double high it over the top. You got to eat it. You got to focus on Diggs, which is going to leave Slayton, track star. Um, my man Hyatt, track star. It's going to lead him wide open, one-on-one -on -one down the field for nine routes all game. You're going to have Waller underneath, one-on-one -on -one with linebackers and bum-ass safeties. Or you can send him seams through the middle because they got coverage over the top on Diggs. Diggs on this Giants offense would be so freaking scary. It would be devastating. that We're going to nickname this Giants offense Friday the 13th coming to a horror movie near you, okay? We're going to be a scary movie, literally. Uh, we're going to be Ghostface. We're going to be Freddy Krueger. We're going to be all that shit rolled into one mean blue package if we get Stephon Dix. He obviously don't want to be in Buffalo, and you saw how he powdered his way out of Minnesota. The last thing you want is a is an upset Diggs ruining the chemistry of your team. Last thing the Giants want is Saquon Barkley pouting because he ain't making enough money. So, so instead of Saquon coming on the Giants, dragging his injury-prone ass in the training camp, because here's what bothers me about the Saquon situation. He's fragile to begin with. Even though he played all the games last year, did he hurt his shoulder or hurt his neck or something last year? But he played through it because he wanted his money. So now we're going to get an out-of-shape Saquon because he's going to come into camp late, out of football shape because he's going to hold out for his money. So he's going to come into camp late. He's not going to be in football shape. And now we got to risk this dude getting hurt because he ain't in football shape. And then in Buffalo, you got a Stephon Diggs that has no problem throwing his, wild, his quarterbacks under the bus when he's not happy. So how about the Giants and the Bills get together and solve problems before they happen? I always preach on this channel being three steps ahead, thinking three steps ahead. Why do the Giants want this headache of Saquon Barkley? We're not going to pay him next year either. We're not going to pay him because we got to give Andrew Thomas like $25 million a year. And we got to give Xavier McKinney his little $10, 12000000 million a year. And what if there's other players that we're just going to flat out want to sign that's more important than a running back? And then if you're Buffalo, you didn't win with him. At some point, you got to start tearing this down. And start focusing on the future. Like Tom Brady. Like the Bel the Belichick and Brady had like three different runs. They had like the early 2000s. Then they had the, the early 2010s where they didn't win because Eli Mann is that dude. And then they had that last little run where they beat the Seahawks, the Falcons, and the Rams. Those are three completely different <clears throat> Three completely different built teams around Tom Brady. So just because you have a franchise quarterback doesn't mean you need, doesn't mean you don't tear it down and rebuild the team around him. Buffalo, you had a three to four year window with Diggs that you didn't win. Now it's time to tear it down, draft some younger guys, and rebuild another version of a, of a powerhouse around Josh Allen. Let the Giants get Stephon Diggs because that's where we're at in our chapter. This makes all the sense in the world. It just does. It just does, man. Headache for headache. They want to run 12 personnel. They want to have more of a run base offense because they're not winning throwing the ball 50 times to Josh Allen. And the Giants want to throw the damn ball 50 times because we got to deal with Jalen Hurts. So at the end of the day, it makes sense for both sides. And everybody on planet Earth knows that a post-June 1st trade between Saquon and Diggs makes all the sense. It just makes all the sense in the world. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.